Hi everyone! Welcome back to Technic 4 Tutorials. In this video, I'll show you how to get your own YouTube client credentials on TubeRank G4. Let's get started! First, on your TubeRank G4 settings, to get your YouTube API key, client ID, and secret, click here. Then it will take you to console.developers.google.com. Then, click here to create your new project. Click on New Project. Enter in your project name, and you can name it however you want. Then, click on Create. Now you'll be notified that your project is being created. When that's done, click here and select your newly created project. Then, click on the navigation menu on the top left corner of your screen. Then, click on APIs and Services. Now, go to your library and type in YouTube Data API version 3. Next, click on it and click here to enable this API. Once that's done, you'll see API services for your YouTube Data API version 3. Now, click on Credentials. Select Create Credentials, then tap on API Key. When that's done, you can copy your API key from here. Then go back to TubeRankJeet and paste in your API. Next, to get the client ID and client secret, go back and again click on Create Credentials. Now tap on OAuth Client ID. And to create an OAuth Client ID, you must first configure your consent screen. So click here to configure consent screen. Now choose External for the user type. Then click on Create. Now for the app information, type in the app name and also enter in your user support email. Scroll down and also add in your developer contact information. Write in your email address. Click on Save and Continue. Next, under Scopes, scroll down and again click on Save and Continue. Do the same for the test users. Check your summary and click on Back to Dashboard. Now here on OAuth Consent screen, under Testing, click on Publish App, then Confirm. Now that it is in production, on your sidebar section, click on Credentials. Again, tap on Create Credentials and go to your OAuth Client ID. Now, choose your application type. I will choose Desktop App. Then click on Create. And you will then see your OAuth Client is created. Now, here is your Client ID. Copy it and paste it here. Do the same for your Client Secret. Copy it and paste it here. You can also see your IDs here at your OAuth 2.0 Client ID section, and you will see it here. When all of your credentials are set, click on Save. Now on the sidebar section, click on Optimize, then click on Discover. You can click on a keyword, select the number of videos to fetch, and click on Go. And there you will see all the videos it has fetched from the keywords. Now going back to the settings, you will now see your YouTube client credentials added. And there you have it. I hope you find this video helpful. Thank you for watching and see you on the next one.